Now, this is no laughing matter uh, this evening. Sky Sports News are reporting that Liverpool will meet with Raheem Sterling later this week for contract talks, and they're reporting he will tell them he does not intend to sign a new deal. He does not intend to sign a new deal. They're saying it's because he feels the club have tried to bully him into signing a new contract and that he doesn't think they have protected him from negative headlines. He's also angry that details of earlier contract offers have been leaked. As for Liverpool, they say their position has not changed. He will not be solved. He will not be leaving. Jamie Carragher, your reaction? Talking of leaks from the club, this started with the agent. Six, nine months ago, the very start of the season, I, I recall there being stories in the papers. Now, listen, we work in the media now for Sky, I write for the newspaper, Gary's the same, so you know what goes on. And I know there's things getting fed to press about Raheem Steele and trying to put pressure on Liverpool to do a deal with them or sell them, whatever way you want to look at it. I know Raheem Steele, I've played with him, he's a great kid. I'm not saying that now. I've seen him the weekend, shook his hand, said hello to him. And he is, he's not some flash young kid. I, don't, I hope people at home, don't, or maybe these stories, they may get the wrong impression of him. Gary's worked with him. He's not loud, you know, in people's faces. He, he loves his football. But he's talking about moving club. He doesn't need to move club, I don't think. I think for his football development, he needs to stay at Liverpool. He plays every week. He needs to change his agent, if there's one thing he needs to change. And the thing I don't like about it is, Raheem's still a kid, but I think he's old enough now. He's 20 years of age. For a 20-year-old kid be, to be taking on Liverpool Football Club over a contract, I just... To the pit of my stomach, that just winds me up, angers me, that a kid, and the fella about him, I think, has had a relationship with him for a long time, this agent. And Raheem Stillman will obviously move on at some stage. Of course, he doesn't want to be at the club. Brendan Rodgers has come out and said he won't be going this summer. He's still got two years left. There's still one game to go. Why not leave this till after that? But it looks like a tactic to me to try and force the club's hand. The lad's from London. He, he, he obviously wants to go back home to London. But I still can't get that out of my head of a, of a young kid trying to take the club on. Now, the way it'll come out, it's not about money. It might not be about money, you know. It'd be about trophies or about playing in the Champions League. It was about trophies. Last season, Liverpool were that close away from winning the league. He was, he was fantastic. Now, they're not close this year. They're going to be close next year, if I'm being totally honest. But well, Liverpool had a chance for a trophy this year in the semi-final against Aston Villa. Where was Raheem Sterling? If you want to win trophies and you want big money, which is what he wants, good luck to him. We all want to make as much as we can. I wouldn't have a problem with anyone. The club can say no if they don't want to give him it. But if you want a big, big trophy, you don't get given to you. You've got to earn them. You've got to play well in big games. What did Liverpool do in the Champions League this season? Nothing. What did Raheem Sterling do? Nothing. Semi-final, Aston Villa, one of the worst performances you'll ever see from a Liverpool team in a big game, a semi-final, a final. I played in teams that maybe didn't have as much talent as this team or what they showed last year, but we get over the line somehow by fighting and getting through it. Where was he in the semi-final? You want to win trophies. You've got to perform at the highest level for Liverpool, who are a huge club. The semi-final was the biggest game this season for Liverpool. And not just him, the whole team without wanting. But if he wants to win trophies, he's got to deliver in big games, and he hasn't done that yet. And for a 20-year-old kid and his agent to be taking on the club, there's nothing worse than that. Forget his performance, there's how much money he wants. You just keep your mouth shut and get on with playing football. He'll move on in years to come, but how will he be thought of the rest of his career? You've got to think of how you're thought of as well, not just your ability. I think it's about time his agent stopped leaking stories, never mind talking about the football club leaking stories.